Isaiah chapter number 10, verse 20. And it came to pass, and excuse me, and it shall come to pass in that day. That day is usually a reference to the second advent of the Lord. So we're jumping over into a future prophecy that the remnant of Israel, Jew, not the church, not America, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, the twelve tribes, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. This is the Assyrian. 2 Kings 18 verse 13. They're resting on the enemy. An enemy against God. But shall stay upon the Lord. The Holy One of Israel in truth. So one day Israel is going to turn to their Messiah. Because Jesus said I am the truth. He said I am the way, the truth, and the life. So when Jesus said, I am the truth, there it is right there, the Holy One of Israel. They're going to turn to Jesus one day, the Messiah. They're not going to trust in Egypt. They're not going to trust in Assyria. They're not going to trust in the United Nations. They're not going to trust in anyone but God one day. That's the future of Israel. And you get these people that, you know, God's all through with Israel. Well, what do you do with this verse here? Because it's not today. The remnant of Israel in the house of Jacob today, the Jews, they're not staying upon the Lord. They're denying the Lord Jesus Christ. They are rebelling and rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ. So it's not today. It hasn't happened yet. They didn't trust in Jesus Christ in his first coming. So it could have been then. They gave him a cross. The raiment shall return, even the raiment of Jacob. And make sure we know who this raiment is. It's Jewish. Unto the mighty God. For though thy people Israel, chapter 9, verse 3, be as sand of the sea, and they are, yet a raiment of them shall return. There are so many Jews, Israelites, Sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and yet a very small number. There's going to be such a small number of Jewish people that the sale of Petra is going to be able to hold them all. That's really not that big of a city compared to people who are, are talking like into sand of the sea. If you had a, a multitude of people like the sand of the sea, you couldn't fit them in Sailor Petra. It's just a remnant. A remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. Chapter 9, verse 3. Again. For the Lord God of hosts shall make a consumption a waste. And I got here, see the note of the 1828 dictionary on that word consumption. Even determined in the midst of all the land. And there's only one land that God speaks about in the Bible, and that is the land of Israel. They are God's people, and being God's people, they are getting the rod. The time of the period will be called Jacob's trouble. Three and a half years of tribulation and three and a half years of the final tribulation where God tells Satan, get him. And the Christians are removed. And the Holy Spirit is removed. And man finally gets what they want. They get the devilish, wicked leader they want. They think President Obama's bad. You wait till you see the, the Antichrist come. The Antichrist will be definitely a, a dominion, a, a worldwide ruler, that you will do what he tells you to do or you'll face death. 
Therefore thus, thus saith the Lord God of hosts, O my people, well, being B.C. before Christ, that's the Jewish people that dwell in Zion. Well, there's one group of people that dwell in Zion, that is the Jew. Be not afraid of the Assyrian. Go back to chapter 10, verse 5. He shall smite thee with a rod. Chapter 5, uh, verse 5. In verse 15. He shall lift up his staff, verse 15, against thee, and after the manner of Egypt, chapter 10, verse 5, Jeremiah 50, verse 17, Exodus 1 and 2, Revelation 18, 11, and Revelation 6, 17. Christian, it gives you a, a very vast warning. Don't rebel against God, because you're his child. He is your father. And Hebrew says that unless you be a bastard, he's going to chastise you when you do wrong. For yet a very little while. Jesus said, in a little while you shall see me, in a little while you shall... And they kept saying, well, what do you mean a little while? This is a very little while. And the ignorant nation shall cease. And my anger in their destruction. And the Lord of hosts shall stir up in, in a scourge for him, the Assyrian, or the Antichrist, according to the slaughter of Midian at the rock of Oribib, that's Judges chapter 7, and as his rod was upon the sea, that was Exodus and Judges, so shall he lift up, so shall he lift it up after the manner of Egypt, chapter 9, verse 4. So again, we spoke about the Assyrian being used of God in the hand of God to beat the Jews because they are not doing what they're supposed to, and because the curse says, uh, because yeah, the curse says, the curse of him that curses thee, I will curse them. He's going to get. Oh, isn't that a wicked God? No, the Bible warns. You don't touch the Jews. And if you do, even if you are a tool in God's hand, if you violate the scriptures, you're going to get it. Israel violated the law. God said, listen, you're going to get a rod. The rod steps in and punishes. Well, the, well Mr. Rod, curses him that curses you. Now i got to curse you because you cursed my people. Don't mess with the Jews. And we talked about that last night. Don't mess with the Christians. If God calls upon you and says, I want you to go after the Jew and mess them up. Mr. Adolf Hitler, I'm Mr. Adolf Hitler, I'm sorry. No, I don't want to do that, Lord, because those are your people. Are you sure you don't want it? No, I am very much sure I don't want to go against you, God. Okay, I'll find somebody else. But with Adolf Hitler, I'll step in and do it. The Assyrian, I'll step in and do it. Satan's always glad to find someone who will bow down and worship him, and he will be always glad to find out if that person that bows down and worship him will try somehow to destroy Israel. Satan wants two things. He wants worship, and he wants to displease God. And it shall come to pass. By the way, that manner of Egypt, if you read the, the sign, well, yeah, no, not the signs, the seals, the trumpets, and the vials, and then Moses showing up again with Elijah, those plagues that are in, that are in the book of Exodus in Egypt, most of them are going to come back and rehappen again. Exodus is a historical book. Exodus is a doctrinal book. And Exodus is a prophecy book that's going to happen again, just not with Egypt. History repeats itself because man will never learn history. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke 
from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Now, Jeremiah wore a yoke prophesying about Nebuchadnezzar and Babylon. The Assyrian is spoken of as being a yoke. Jesus said, if you got burdens, come on to me and I'll give you a rest. Take up my yoke. So... Nebuchadnezzar, the Syrian, and this yoke that follows are all type of the Antichrist. He has come to Ahath. He is passed to Migron. At Michmash, he has laid up his carriages. Here comes the battle. They are going over the passage. They have taken up their lodging at Geba. Ramoth is afraid. Give ya of Saul is fled. They're, they're fearing this, this, this truth. They're fearing. Here they come. Oh, get out of here. Lift up thy voice, O daughter of Galam. Cause it to be heard unto Laish, O poor Anatha. You know what that is? Jeremiah 1.1. 1, 1. That's where Jeremiah was from. That is a city of the priest. Jeremiah was a priest. Mad Minah is removed. The inhabitants of Gibbon gather themselves to flee. They're not even fighting this this army that's coming. They're they're leaving town. As yet shall he remain at Nob that day, that one particular day, he shall shake his hand against the mount of the daughter of Zion and the hill of Jerusalem. I'm going to get that city. I'm going to, I'm coming to get you Jews. I'm going to get you. That's what he's doing. Here I come. Behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, has locked, cut, the bow with terror. And the high ones of the statured giants. Tall people shall be hewed down and the haughty shall be humble. I mean Goliath was hewed down. He fell down on the ground dead. You mean there may be a, a giants coming back? Possibility. And he shall cut down the thickets of the forest with iron, axe, saws. Go back to verse 15. And Lebanon shall fall by a mighty one. Not an army. One. And we've been talking about the Antichrist. Ooh, boy, I'm telling you. You're preparing your way for the Battle of Armageddon. That's what my note says here. War, army, axes, rod, indignation, consumption. Why? Because you are sinning against God and you are not repenting. They never repented of the Lord Jesus Christ and given him a thorn, a crown, and, and the cross. 70 AD, Titus came in and that city has not been the same. There is no Temple Mount sitting right now. It is the dumb of the rock. Why? Why is there no temple there? Because they had rejected the Lord Jesus Christ, and you are looking at 2015 years. The Jews have not been in their home. Oh, they're there now, but the Roman Catholics run around, and you go over there. G five O form. This is where Jesus was. And this is where Jesus, and this is where Jesus, and this is where Jesus, you're, you're looking at the wrong people. They don't know nothing about Jesus. I mean, they're so terrible about Jesus, they think you got to take them morally to be saved. Pop a couple Jesuses and go to heaven. Ah, oh, man. Walk around in black robes and all that. Man, why black? I don't, I don't want black. I don't want darkness. They can't even put their shirt on right. They got their fruit alone tag in the front. Please get dressed right. 
you know, call yourself father and you wear a dress like mother and, and, and man, that's who's running the Israel over the, today, the land, the, the Roman Catholic Church, the Arabians. There are kids over there right now who go to school with an AK-7 strapped to their book bag. You got missiles flying over the place. You go into a, a, a coffee restaurant and sit down and have a coffee with, with your family or something, and the store may get bombed. And the way things are going right now, you may be sitting in a spot in Israel at one moment, and it will be the, the, the Palestine's land in the next moment as they give up land for peace that they never get. They keep giving up stuff for peace and they never get the peace. And America is on the road right now with the president that we have, will be to be, that we are, may just go against Israel ourselves. And the curse will go. Him that curses Israel, I will curse. He goes back to Genesis chapter 12. That's still fixed for 2015. What is Germany today? It's a wasted nation. Things that were made in Germany long, long time ago, before World War II, they had a value, they had a reputation that, hey, this is, they had a character if it was made from Germany, all right. Not no more. The Jews need to be careful on how they are reacting to God. People need to be careful on how they react to the Jews. It's all about the Jewish people. They are God's people. 